Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. My name is Richard Evans. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Today I want to show you the magical, wonderful world of using the effect button on the TriCaster control panel. The TriCaster has tons of different transitions and virtual sets to use with your program switcher or mix effects, and you can store your favorite using nine individual presets per switcher or mix effect. And the TriCaster control panel, once again, makes it super easy to switch between them using the effect button. A simple but powerful way to customize your show. So, it's that time again. Let me show you how it's done, son. All right, so I'm going to start off in the TriCaster TC1 interface, and let me draw your attention to the bottom of the screen here, right next to our T-bar. This is where we have a selection option for nine different presets uh, to use for our different transitions on our program row. So the first two here are going to be uh, set by default to cut and fade, kind of your standard tra uh, traditional um, transitions here. But then you also have nine, uh, sorry, seven additional ones to uh, add to this list here. So if I click on the plus button here, you'll see uh, again I have tons of different transitions to choose from uh, within the, the TriCaster that just come with the system. So let's just grab one of these here, like a, uh, let's grab this blinds one here. All right, that looks pretty cool. Okay, so now I've selected that and you'll see that it is now stored into number three. And if I use my auto transition here, you'll see that it will switch between my program and preview using that blinds transition. Let's go ahead and do that and whoop, there we go. And in the middle of my show, let's say, let's switch it to something else. I'll switch it to this twirl. All right, boom. And then I did another transition that way. So you have uh, those nine there to choose from. Uh, and you pretty much can choose whatever you want. Anything that comes on the system or anything that you've built custom-wise, etc. Okay, but again, this is about the control panel. So let's take a look at how to select those on the control panel. Okay, so uh, right now, let's say that we have our nine different uh, favorite ones already selected. Let's move over to the control panel and ta-da, take a look. Now, uh, so in order to access those and just switch between them real quick on the fly, what we'll need to do is, let me go ahead and zoom in here real quick, over to the T-bar section. So you have your T-bar here with your auto transitions, etc. but then you have this button here for effect. All right, let me go ahead and hold that down. And when I hold that button down, let me zoom over using my camera here. Now you'll see that I have my nine different presets available to me here. So I can switch between those real quick by saying, let's go and click the circle one like that, for example. And now when I hit my transition, it will just go ahead and do that real quick. So I can switch these a lot faster on the fly than having to go through and use the mouse and do it that way. And whenever I update them, uh, as far as like selecting uh, another favorite on my uh, transition presets, you'll see that I can update the names on these as well. Okay, now I currently uh, am using my main switcher row for this, so let's go ahead and take a look at how to do that on a different uh, mix effect, for example. All right, so let me go ahead and zoom my camera out just a tad here. Uh, so the first thing I want to show you is, again, I'm going to hit my delegate stripe button, make sure that I'm on my mix effect number two. All right, so now I'm on my mix effect number two, which will be indicated by this screen up here at the top. And I can do kind of the same thing uh, using the mix effect side of things. So back into the interface, let me expand my mix effect two window here and open this up. Now, the one thing that's different between using the, uh, the program switcher uh, effects, the, the preset effects there, is uh, on the mix effects, I can also load in virtual sets. So, for example, let me hit uh, Effect up here on the top. All right, and then when I do that, I can then see that I have my different uh, iterations here of my virtual sets, for example. So, I'll say hit Center, and that will load up my virtual set. Let me go ahead and put that on my preview row here. Do you? Okay, so those are my shots. I just need to arrange those a little bit. But uh, if I wanted to, I can say, let's switch that to just a regular old switcher. And then now I have uh, a different transition in there. And hitting that, you'll see that I have my little New Tech TV clock going on there, uh, et cetera. So this is a really quick and easy way to cycle between your different presets of your, uh, 
your uh, transitions and uh, effects, etc. Now, to combine something that I showed on the last tutorial video, what's cool about this is now in con using the uh, in conjunction the different uh, memory slots, I can just basically expand these kind of exponentially here. So let me go over and uh, let's say that we're in my program switcher here. So I have my nine different presets. Let's just take a, a quick snapshot of those and let's save that into number one. All right. So now I have all of these nine presets saved. And now what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and just select a whole bunch of other ones. So I'm going to go into the clock side of things and I'm just going to select all clocks for my uh, additional transitions. I'm just going to kind of go down the list here. You, you get an idea of how you can do this. I'm just going to use all clocks because it just makes this easier. Right. Almost there. Bear with me. All right. And let's grab uh, that one. Okay, cool. So now I have these. So let's go ahead and I'm going to bring this back to uh, that window here. And now I'm going to say, use my effects, switch these, and then I can start to cycle between them really dang fast like that, okay? But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a snapshot of these using the mem slots like I showed you last time and put them into number two, all right? And now, check this out. I'm going to open this up so that we can see it. So now I'm currently on those effects, and if I switch between them real quick, I'm just doing that. But then I can also say, go to mem slot number one by hitting mem, going to one, and then it loads back in all of the different transitions that I had in there before. So I can quickly say, all right, now go to my effects. Let's go to the uh, guitar transition. And then if I want to go back to my uh, clock uh, presets, I go mem slot two effects, bam like that. And so I'm switching between them really dang quick. So in conjunction with all of the other things that I've shown you, you can start to layer a lot of this uh, together and create some really cool and dynamic uh, activity with the TriCaster control panel. So as usual, dive in and have some fun. Hey, now ain't that something? The TriCaster control panel does it again, making it easy to customize your show on the fly. Now, I hope this video helps expand your knowledge about the TriCaster. If you would like more helpful tutorials like this one, subscribe to the New Tech YouTube channel at youtube.com slash newtechinc. And do you want more new tech knowledge? Well, check out New Tech University, which you can sign up for at newtech.com slash newtech u. And to find out more about New Tech products and services, contact your local reseller or visit our website, newtech.com. Also, if you're heading to NAB in Las Vegas this year, make sure that you come and swing by our booth and say hello. And as always, if you're posting pictures of your setup on social media, tag us using the hashtags NewTech or TriCaster. That's all for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for another edition of NewTech Tuesday Tutorials.